In the House of Representatives, Republicans are projected to take control, currently in the lead with 190 seats. It looks like incumbent Kathy McMorris Rogers is on track to win her 10th term. She's currently head of Democrat Natasha Hill. She has 59% of the votes. Our Vanessa Perez has reaction from both candidates tonight. Lots of excitement filled the room here at the Davenport. Congresswoman McMorris Rogers took the stage speaking directly to supporters. She talked about rebuilding the economy and continuing to work for Washington families. Proud to represent you and more humbled that you continue to trust me to serve you, the people of Eastern Washington, in the people's house. The votes are looking in favor of the Congresswoman. If officially re-elected, she'll be serving her 10th term in the House. You know, we really focused on the issues that are impacting families here in Eastern Washington. Rising gas prices, inflation, crime, the importance of getting fentanyl off the streets. I think these are all issues that are very much impacting people and issues that I'm, I'm ready to go to work on in Congress to make a difference. She's anticipating becoming the first chairman on the Energy and Commerce Committee. She says her goal is to make sure the country is energy dependent while bringing down gas prices and making utility bills affordable. Democrat Natasha Hill, a local civil attorney, challenged the congresswoman. Um, we showed up, we listened, um, and so I know that I can represent for this region. Obviously, the voters have decided um, to stick with our current representative, um, and you know that's how democracy works, so that means we've got more work to do. Hill says she'll continue to be a leader in the community, as Congresswoman McMorris Rogers is expected to keep her seat in the People's House. Reporting in Spokane, Vanessa Perez, 4 News Now.